In this video, I'm gonna teach you all about finding clients for your cleaning business. And by the end, you will learn exactly what you need to get clients, and maybe even more importantly, you will learn what you don't need, saving you tons of time and money. One of the best parts of this business is repeat customers, meaning you put in some work to acquire a new client, but once you do, they could stick with you for a long time. I've had many clients in my business for 10 years, 15 years, and beyond. For example, if you get a weekly residential client at $200 a week and you keep them for 10 years, the lifetime value of that single client to your business is $104,000. Find just 10 weekly clients at $200 each, which in most markets is very manageable, and all of a sudden you have a six-figure cleaning business. Or in commercial cleaning, find a building to maintain that pays you $2,500 a month and keep that client for just five years and the lifetime value of that one client is $150,000. Lifetime value is an important concept to understand because in a lot of other service-based industries, you're always looking for the next client since your services are needed less frequently. But most cleaning clients are repetitive and if you keep that client happy, you keep the client. So remember that as we go through the points that follow. And it will become clear that depending on your business goals, you may not need that many clients to hire you to get your business where you want it. First, let me tell you what you don't need to find clients, or for that matter, what you don't need to be successful in this industry. You don't need a website and you don't need a social media following. Yes, I know this sounds old school, but trust me when I tell you that nine times out of 10, you do not need these things to be a successful and profitable cleaning business owner. In my online course, I do teach a few scenarios where I think these tools are helpful but my day-to-day -day cleaning business does not have a website, a single social media account, a Google listing, or even a Yelp listing. Yet, I always have a waiting list of clients wanting to hire my business, and even more leads coming in on top of that. And this isn't because I've been in the business for over 20 years. In fact, just a few years ago, I moved across the country and I started my business over again. And I did so without a website and without social media. And I had a thriving cleaning business again in literally weeks. So if you don't need a website or social media to find cleaning clients, what do you need? Just a little bit of training and a little bit of confidence. Because the two main options that I recommend are running paid ads and the direct approach. Let's start with paid advertising. There are so many different places you can advertise these days. And by now, we're all accustomed to seeing them all over social media. In fact, you may have found my online course or YouTube channel because of a paid ad. But I would not recommend advertising your local cleaning business on social media. And that's not because I think it won't work. Most likely it will, and it will bring some new leads into your business. But those leads will be expensive, and the return on your investment might not outweigh the cost. And on top of that, people generally go to social media for entertainment or to learn something not to find a cleaning business. So when they're on social media scrolling through, they aren't usually in the mindset of trying to find and hire a service provider. So if Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube aren't the best places to advertise a local cleaning business, at least right now, then where should you advertise? Well, where do people go to look for cleaning providers? Two places, Google and apps like Yelp. As of making this video, there are over 4 million Google searches every single minute. And as of making this video, Yelp has over 100 million visitors each month. So for starters, you should absolutely set up free business listings on Google and Yelp. Not only is that a ton of free traffic, but these listings will also give your future clients a place to leave you reviews, which in turn brings more people to your business. But we're talking about paid advertising here. So this brings me to my recommendation for the best place to run paid ads for your cleaning business, Yelp. If that ever changes, I'll be sure to let you know. But right now, Yelp is my recommendation for a few reasons. Number one, Yelp is where people go to find solutions to problems locally, like needing a new cleaning provider. When I open my Yelp app, cleaning is even one of the main categories listed. Number two, running paid advertising on Yelp is fairly cost effective, and they even have incentives sometimes, like a $100 credit for new advertisers. 
And reason number three, it's by far the simplest platform to advertise on, which is important if you're a new business owner. And one more quick note on paid ads. Don't assume that old school advertising platforms like newspapers don't work anymore. They may work very well depending on your market and the reach of those publications. In fact, when I moved a few years ago, that's what made the most sense in my market, since it's a smaller community. So I ran one $75 newspaper ad and my business was cranking in no time. Option number two for getting new clients in your cleaning business is the direct approach. I teach my course students the principle of go after the clients you want, and this has many benefits. With paid ads, you're advertising to the masses in your market, which can bring in some less desirable leads. But by going after the clients you want, you are taking a more targeted approach. Meaning, if I am looking for residential clients, I want larger and nicer homes. This means they likely have the money to pay me well and will appreciate my hard work. If I'm looking for commercial clients, I personally go for offices and government buildings instead of retail stores. This means they have less foot traffic, stay cleaner longer, and are closed evenings and weekends. The point is, figure out exactly the types of clients you want for your cleaning business and get in front of those prospects. You will be amazed at how well this works, especially because so many homeowners and business owners are dissatisfied with their current cleaning provider. So I'm gonna keep this next part short, but here is how I recommend you get in front of each client type. For residential cleaning, I don't recommend flyers since they usually end up in the trash. Although I do have some students in the UK who say they work well there. But as a rule, it's better to write a neatly handwritten note that compliments them on some aspect of their home and tell them you'd love to work for them. Insert a business card and leave it at their door. No one handwrites notes anymore, so this will grab their attention. For commercial cleaning, look up businesses in your area. Call and ask for the email address of the person who oversees the maintenance of the office or building and send that person an email offering your services. If you wanna do construction cleaning, then it's the same process as commercial. Just look up builders and contractors in your area. Ask them who manages their post-construction cleaning and get an email address. And for vacation rental cleaning, the quickest method is to look up property managers in your area and see if any of them are looking for new cleaning vendors. The vacation rental business is booming, so many property managers are in need of more cleaners right now. And for all of these methods, I have copy and paste templates inside my online course, so you know exactly what to say and write. But now you might be thinking, the direct approach sounds like a lot of work. And you're right, it is but it is absolutely worth it for the two main reasons I mentioned earlier in the video. Number one, it lets you build the client base you actually want for your business. And number two is the potential lifetime value of each customer. It might not make sense for a plumber or an appliance repair company to go after each and every client like this, but when your clients are repeat customers and the income potential is five, six, or maybe even seven figures over time, then the effort is 100% worth it. So hopefully this video gave you the training and confidence you need to find high paying cleaning clients. And I promise, if you put forth the effort, you can build the cleaning business of your dreams. For a complete step-by-step -step roadmap, be sure to check out my online course linked below. And as always, please like and subscribe. Until next time, happy cleaning.